Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and is my dad, Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking? How's uh, the quarantine life down in Florida treating you on this uh, first weekend in April, which is hard to believe. We're, we're in spring. Well, a lot of my friends, Rye, you know, they have to uh, work from home now. And, uh, you know, everybody had Skype, but they're all discovering the Zoom meeting. So now it seems like every night we're having Zoom meeting cocktail parties or Zoom meetings with our neighbors (laughs) just to make sure everybody's safe and good to see everybody. So, you know, it keeps you from being very lonely because I feel like a recluse right now. At least I want to be. Yeah, no, thank goodness for Zoom. And the funny thing is uh, the stock, which is called Zoom Video, has been getting confused with Zoom Technologies, which is a company out of China. So people have been accidentally or inadvertently buying the Zoom technology stock. It's up over 800% this year and has nothing to do with video. They actually oh had, a, they had yeah. to halt the stock. <laughs> so pretty wild. So if yeah. you're going to buy the stock, which is up a lot right now, uh, the ticker is ZM, not Z-O-O-M for the record. So just yeah, saying. I, it goes down to you know knowing what you own and knowing why you own it, right, Rye? So you know, investing can be treacherous, even with the best intentions. We've got a great show for you to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about not only surviving, but thriving. Bob and I are going to give you the three most vital action steps you need to be taking right now to handle the volatility in the market. We're going to talk about biggest financial concerns, receiving a record volume of questions from listeners, clients. We're going to address the biggest financial concerns that are on your mind right now, along with this week's financial propaganda. That's where we're going to call out the best advice, worst advice, Financial media has recently been broadcasting, and on our spotlight segment today, we have our star financial advisor, Frankie Lagrateria. She's going to break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So let's hop to it. Hey, listeners, as you're sitting home right now and you're quarantined, figuring out what to do, probably not a bad time to reevaluate your finances. And that's why Payne Capital is offering you right now a game plan. Review all of your assets right now, your financial plan to make sure you're on track. And we're doing them for free. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan, and we'll put together a game plan for you. We'll use a secure email. We can analyze all your statements, all your investments, and we can build for you your own personalized financial portal and we can do an assessment of everything you're doing right now. Everything from taxes, everything from diversification. What risks do you have in your portfolio? Did you get hit really hard here with the market down? We're going to show you how to properly diversify your portfolio. And we're going to look at income. Income is a really critical part of your investment portfolio. We're going to show you how to optimize that and make some good decisions about taxes right now. A lot of things you can do, get to give the right game plans so you can thrive not just survive getting through this market volatility. So check it out. Go to paincm.com slash game plan, and we'll put together an individualized game plan for you while we're quarantining and figuring out what we need to do for our finances. We're offering this game plan right now. Check it out. Go to paincm.com slash game plan, and we'll put together an individualized game plan for you. It's time for Financial Propaganda of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. So Bob, this week, like every week right now, has been crazy. We're reading every article out there. There's a lot of news out there. The markets, you know, they've come off their bottom. They've been swinging around like a yo-yo. And you know, we're reading a lot of articles right now about some of these gurus, and I put that in quotes, that are making big, bold predictions about the market going even lower than the lows that we saw in March. You know, it's it's what do you think about that? Well, first of all, you know, a lot of times you'll have someone who manages bonds for a living making predictions about the stock market. And I don't know why they just don't stick to their knitting. You know, secondly, this is what the media tries to do. They take all of us who are average, normal human beings who are typically long-term investors, and suddenly when the market gets volatile, they want us to become short-term traders. Always going to end in tears. It's always going to end in failure. And they try and make predictions that 
you know, no one can predict. No one can know it's unknowable, right? No one can know the future. Yeah, we're in a position right now. It's kind of interesting because we had this big low made in March and we bounced off it. We had this magnificent rally. We had this three day rally that was just one of the biggest ever seen in history after coming off of one of the biggest sell offs or the biggest sell off or the quickest sell offs in history. So now we're in this what I call no man's land where you have a lot of people predicting, okay, we're going to have a double bottom, which means we're going to come right back down to the low that we saw in March or worse. It's going to break that low. And then you have other prognosticators out there saying, well, the low's already in. So now you're safe to get invested. And I think for most of us, if we're sitting on the sidelines in cash right now, it becomes a really hard time to get invested because no one really knows what's going to happen next. Which well, they never do, by the way. They want to turn everybody into a technical analyst, right? These are people who yeah. look at charts. You know, when I, you know, I always told you about charts. If you didn't like the way the chart looked, turn it upside down, you'll feel better. <laughs> um, you know, these guys draw, these folks draw lines on a chart. So you got people looking at a line. If it goes below the line, you sell. If it goes above the line, you buy. That's not investing. That's gambling, right? I mean, investing is about growing your assets, net of inflation, and taxation. You know what I think everyone should be doing? It's not listening to these bond fund managers make predictions about the stock market. You should be analyzing these bond funds they sold you to understand why are they going down when the bond market isn't. You know, what's wrong with those investments? You know, maybe you should be getting rid of all those to get a portfolio that has a chance to win. Yeah, no, it's a good point right now. We talk about this most weeks and we talk about we don't like bond funds. We said every week. Um, and it's, this is a perfect example. Why I don't want to own bond funds because they did get hit very hard in the last couple of weeks. Now they've rebounded a lot because the Fed has come back in and added liquidity to the bond market. But what does that mean for you long term? What that means for you long term right now is I'd be very scared some of these bond funds you might own, and you've really got a gift from the heavens right now to get out of that bond fund because they have rebounded here and get out of those things right now, whether you're a baby boomer or a millennial and you're trying to figure out ways to diversify your money. We can't urge you enough right now. Probably get out of those bond funds. You know, we already saw a preview for how bad it can get, and there's no reason it can't get bad again. Yeah, that's the other thing, Ryan. You know, you have it's not just the bond funds. It's just not bond managers making predictions about things they have no idea and how no and no way of knowing their guesses right you also have the media in general telling you no matter how bad it is it's going to get worse because unless they get you to tune in every day they're out of a job so they sell advertising they don't you know they don't give investment advice you know they sell hysteria so that you'll tune in and you know they'll they'll keep making money from their advertisers Right. Their agenda is probably not your agenda. <laughs> it's probably no. a way to look at it. And in fact, I saw an article out of Barron's this week that said while the stock market, why the stock market hasn't hit bottom, could fall another 35%. Okay, give me a break. The market's already down 20 to 30%, depending on what market you're talking about. You know, now why all of a sudden do they have this insight that you're going to go down another 35% from here, which could happen, but the odds now are very low. And I think that's something you got to keep reminding yourself day after day is they don't know. And they may sound like they know everything. They're really smart. They know this about the economy, the Fed, and so on and so forth. Sounds great. But I said this last week, their guess is as good as yours right now. Nobody knows what's going to happen in the short term. Stop trying to guess. Well, I'm going to make a prediction right now, Rye. Jupiter could hit Mars. Um, <laughs> I'm writing that down, Bob. All right. Jupiter could hit Mars. The market could go up or it could go down. It doesn't matter. What matters is what are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your values? Are you positioned properly? You know, it's not just that we don't like bond funds, it's just that we do a financial plan. We have to be able to project your income. We have to be able to project, you know, what you're going to generate in return. When you have a portfolio bond with a fixed coupon, right, a fixed interest rate and a fixed maturity date, we know exactly how much money is going to come in every month, every quarter, every year. And we're able to figure out how much more risk you need to take in the stock market to get the additional dividend income. If everything is open-ended, if everything is a guess, then you don't have a plan, right? You have, I don't know what you have, you have a mess. So you need some fixed income in your portfolio. You need a fixed strategy. You need a discipline. You need to focus on your goals and your portfolio, not on what the media is trying to tell us right now. Yeah, and that applies if you're a baby boomer, generation X, you're a millennial right now. It really is the same formula because even if you're gonna be retiring or if you're retired now, you still need growth in your portfolio um, because most of us that are retirees, you're going to be retired a lot longer. It could be a 30-year stretch and you got to be prepared for that. You have to have those dividends coming in. You're going to need that growth in your portfolio. 
And if you're a younger millennial investor trying to get in and trying to figure out how to grow your wealth, same thing. You know, you're going to need growth in your portfolio and you have prices that are low now. And as you like to say, Bob, I already said it earlier in the show today, I think it's the right way to think about this is the exact opposite of being exactly right is exactly wrong. You just need to be approximately right here and you just need a game plan. You know, when I watch these Yahoo's on TV and I read these articles and I say, okay, they're predicting things. They're, they're short-term traders. Why don't they have more money than Warren Buffett? Yeah, it's as simple as that. And believe me, they're all going to tell you they know. And we follow a lot of these traders and a lot of these ones that follow technical analysis. And you know, they're getting their head handed to them right now. They don't know what's going to happen next. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need a game plan that's based on my goals, not based on some prognosticators on TV that are making bold statements right now because they have no idea. Here's your shot to do it. We still have six slots left if you have over $500,000 safe for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you our now famous Total Financial Master Plan, and we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review that gives you the big picture on what you need to be doing right now. All you need to do is you can send us your statements. We're using secure emails to get that data. We're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal while you're quarantined at home, and we're going to look at your whole net worth at a bird's eye view. And we're going to start looking at all those critical components. We're going to look at income. Do you have an income plan for retirement? How are you going to draw on your assets if you're going to be retired soon or if you're retired now? We're going to put together a game plan for that. We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hammered here when the market pulled back? Well, most of us did, but did you have high quality bonds in your portfolio? Did you build protection in? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio and protect it against the next decline. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's probably a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those annuities, mutual funds, insurance products, we're going to show you how to reduce that cost on your portfolio, especially those hidden costs. And we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's a lot you can be doing proactive right now on taxes to put more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692 or simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next six callers and you've saved over 500000 for retirement, my son Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost. There's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692 or simply call 844-PLANNYC. That's 844-PLANNYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne and I'm with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Game Financial Radio. <laughs> Bob, you know, we've discussed a lot recently. You know, this really isn't our first rodeo. Yeah, this is my third bear market. This is your fourth. So you have me beat. And mm. I think we've really come down to three things or distilled it down to three action steps that everybody can be taking right now to make sure that not only are they surviving the bear market right now and the volatility and the recession in the economy, but when we come out of this thing, we actually are thriving. And the first thing we've learned over and over again, every single bear market is stay invested. That's number one. Yeah, right. You go back to 2008, 2009. We actually had clients get out of the market in 2008, almost at the top. And by March of 2009, the market had bottomed. You had the most incredible values, not too unlike what we have now. And they wouldn't invest because the news was so horrible, right? We had bankruptcies. We had earnings going down, unemployment through the roof, and the market had bottomed. And it didn't get, the news didn't get better for six whole months. So the people got out in 2008, got in way higher than when they got out. And that's what we see over and over again, because we've gotten this question a lot lately. She said, just go to cash. And it would feel really good to go to cash. You sit in cash, you think the market will go lower, and then you'll just get back in. But as you and I know, number one, we don't know where the bottom is. We could have already had the bottom in the market. Nobody knows that for sure. And number two, it's so hard to get back in. It sounds really easy, but if the market goes down lower, the news is going to get more negative than it is now. 
And you're going to sit there on the sidelines and think, I'm just going to keep waiting. And invariably, you wait too long. You know, Ryan, a lot of people are thinking this way. If I'd have sold last week, you know, I would have less loss this week. So I better sell now because I'll have more loss next week. I mean, it's your feeling, right? You're feeling like, oh, I better get out before it gets worse. You're not thinking about, well, hey, do I need to achieve my goals? Do I need my money to grow? There's a lot of ways to think a little differently about the stock market, right, Ryan? It's not just pieces of paper. No, it's actually backed by real companies. And that's the thing we forget sometimes. And these real companies have real assets. And as an owner of that company, when you own shares, you physically own that company and whatever the assets that company actually has. And a big thing right now, we talk about this every week on the show is one of the big advantages of owning stocks over the long term are the dividends. You're still getting paid as an owner cash flow from those businesses. It's crazy to sell all these cash flow producing investments, especially when the prices on them are way too low. Yeah. I mean, when you look at the stock market, it looks like a video game right now, the way the prices are bouncing around. But you know, if you own your own company or the company you work for, if you did own that company, if I came knocking on your door right now and say, hey, I'd like to give you 40% less than what your company was worth a month ago, are you going to sell it to me? What are you going to do with the cash? You're going to put it in a money market fund? I mean, what about the income you generate from your business, right? Same thing as dividends, right? So I think if you think about ownership as opposed to, you know, buying low, selling high and all the other crap they tell you on TV, it's a way different way to think about how to be invested. And another thing to think about too is, as scary as this is with the coronavirus and from, you know, everything we've heard, at some point, this is going to dissipate, right? At some right. point, we are going to go back to normal. But the one thing that's not going to change is your financial goals and the fact that things are going to cost a lot more in the future. And you need to keep your money abreast of what we call inflation. And sitting in cash, to your point, Bob, earning 1% or some bonds now, I think a 10-year bond pays 0.6%. That's not going to get you to your retirement goals, but a portfolio of stocks that pay a lot of income that is going to increase over time is a much better strategy long-term, especially if you can stay invested short-term. Yeah, of course, this only matters, right, if you're diversified properly. Anybody had their money 100% in stocks is suffering right now, just like they did in 2008 and 2009. That's not investing. That's speculation. Which brings us to our second action step here, Bob, and that's rebalancing your portfolio. And one thing we preach week after week is you need to have a high quality portfolio bonds to diversify your portfolio. And that's not bond funds. Remember, we don't like bond funds. But bonds that you own, they come due. They're high quality they're actually trading at a profit right now. So if you're a long-term investor, and if you're properly diversified, you can take some of those profits right now and you can dollar cost average over the market while the prices are lower. And what we've learned, Bob, after three bear markets is you create all your wealth in these down markets. When prices are low, it's actually generational wealth you're creating when you're buying shares this low. Yeah. I mean, the whole thing is it's not about being right so you can be on national television and say, hey, I told you so. You know, that's not investing. It's about investing for your goals. So let's say you have a, a, a created a balanced portfolio that you you know put a lot of thought and time into like we do with our portfolios. Well, the market just de-risked your portfolio. Your equities are down. Your bonds are up, but your stocks are down. So you need to get back to your targeted allocation, which means you're going to buy low. You know, you're going to use your brain. You're going to be unemotional. You're going to dollar cost average into buying stocks while they're on sale. Now, will they be on sale for a longer period of time? Who knows? But there's never been a time in history, right? I'm 66 years old. In 55 years, there's been 10 declines of 20% or more. How many of those never came back? Zero. They've all Zero. come back eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Got 100%. Got a track record of 100% yeah. of our country recovering from every disaster and every bear market. You know, you got to take your time, be unemotional, and focus on your goals. So when it comes down to it, the key here is you don't have to be exactly right because what we say all the time, being the opposite of exactly right is exactly wrong. You just need to be approximately right here. That's why dollar cost average, rebalance your portfolio. Don't try to be a hero, but invariably when you look back on this 24 months from now, three years from now, four years from now, this is all going to look like great value if you stick to your discipline, which brings us to our third action point, Bob diversification. You need to be diversified because one thing we've learned is when you've had a bear market like this, whatever was doing really well before the bear market isn't necessarily the best place to be after the bear market. Like when you go back when the tech bubble burst, uh, value stocks outperformed for a decade and the great recession happened. And then all of a sudden growth stocks outperformed for a decade. So we don't know necessarily where the leaders are going to be out of this. 
but it might not be the same places that we're working before. Now it comes to your Bobism, right? You know, past performance is 100% indicative of past performance. Tells you nothing about the future. You know, if you look back over the last 10 years, the best place to be was in the S&P 500. If you invested in the S&P 500 100% the previous 10 years, what was your return? You made nothing. It nothing. actually was slightly down. <laughs> nothing is a horrible return. All right. So, you know, we don't know what the market's going to throw at us, but we know something's going to do well going, going forward. That's why diversification works. It's the one thing we learn from every decline in history. Diversification is the only way to succeed. And if you're thinking right now, I need an action plan. I don't want to just survive. I want to thrive. Well, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself and Bob will run for you. Our now famous total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture. All you need to do is get those statements available. You can send them through a security encrypted email. We can do everything through a video conference or Zoom. We're going to take all that data for you and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal so you can see your entire net worth at a bird's eye view. And we're going to look at all the critical components to get you prepared for retirement. We're going to look at everything from diversification. Did you get re hit really hard over the last couple of weeks? You probably did. Did you have the right hedges in your portfolio? Did you have a high quality portfolio of bonds? Bob and I are going to show you how to bulletproof and protect your portfolio so you're prepared for the next decline. We're going to address your income issues. We're going to look at income. Do you have an income plan for retirement? How are you going to draw down your portfolio if you're retired now? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio and build an income plan for life. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's probably a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying. And those mutual funds, insurance products, annuities, Bob and I are going to show where all the hidden costs are in your portfolio, show you how to reduce costs. And then we're going to show you how to make your portfolio more tax efficient so there's more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together and do one total financial master plan utilizing strategies now our family has literally worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 6692, or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. If you're one of our next 10 callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. There won't be a plan unless you text or call. And that's 844-752-6692. That's 844 752 6692, or simply call 844 Plan NYC. That's 844 P L A N N Y C. Hey, this is Bob, and I'm with Rye, and we're the pains of No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I want to make sure you're getting the best, most common sense advice when it comes to your planning and investing. And that's why we've put together our Bear Market Survival Guide. We give you three action steps you can take right now to make sure you're making all the best decisions during this bear market and some tax tips you can utilize right now and take advantage of while the markets are down. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. That's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. We give you our Bear Market Survival Guide. You can check it out. You can download it for free. We give you a couple tips, a couple action steps you can take right now to protect yourself in this bear market. This is our third, fourth bear market, depending if you're me or Bob. And we're going to give you all the ideas that we've executed on the past that work. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So Bob, we're seeing a huge surge in questions from clients and listeners over the past couple of weeks with regards to what they should be doing with their finances right now. So I thought we could address some of the top financial concerns that we've seen over and over again over the last couple of weeks, because I'm assuming a lot of our listeners and a lot of our clients have the same issues. And one that we're getting a lot right now is, should you make changes to a traditional financial strategy? Should this virus become seasonal and reoccurring? Yeah, I think these are the questions that come from people who think, should I have all my money in gold? Yeah. Hey, look, gold is a commodity. You should have some commodities in your portfolio, some hard assets, right? But 
you know, what I call traditional financial strategy, you think about a three-legged stool. And I think that's never going to change. No, I agree with you. The whole idea of having a discipline and a strategy is whatever happens, whatever unexpected forces happen in the world, you have what we call an all-weather portfolio. So invariably, that strategy should work, especially with the unknowable, because let's be real. I mean, it was unknowable that this virus was going to wi- become widespread, a pandemic, and have a huge effect on the economy and the financial markets. But when you have a discipline in place, you can actually be proactive, not reactive. So our financial strategy would not change. A traditional one is probably going to work the best here, as opposed to trying to change it up. Yeah, because you know, right, the key to every financial plan, the key to every successful strategy is number one, to overcome inflation and taxation, right? Because, you know, the cost of living is going to go up. You've got to be able to pay your bills, whether you're working or whether you're retired. And the other thing is, is that, you know, over time, every, you know, when you have a portfolio of bonds that come due, you get all your money back with interest. And the only true hedge against inflation are equities. There are companies that increase their earnings and dividends. So, you know, that's a couple hundred years old, and that strategy will work again, and it's always worked. You got to stick to your, you got to stick to your nitty. I agree. And the second question that comes in is, if you're expecting tax refunds, what is a good strategy slash time to add funds to investments versus savings? I have to say, right now is probably one of the best times to be adding to investments. And again, like we talked about in the first segment, don't put everything to work in one day and think you've got the bottom. But you know, absolutely, dollar cost averaging in here for the long term. That's where you create real wealth, wealth long term. Yeah, it's real simple. If you keep a, a balanced uh, strategy, if you have your own targeted asset allocation, what you want to do over the next couple of weeks, months, and year is keep it balanced to that target, right? So you know the market just re risked your portfolio, your underweighted in equities where, versus where you were a month ago. Start to add some money in. You know, as it comes in, you know it's like eating. You, know, you should do it every day, right? So when you have new money come in, put some in savings, but put some money in your investments. Yeah, especially when the market's down. That's your best long-term opportunity. The next most popular question we're getting right now is if you're in your mid-60s and have worked a lifetime for your savings, how do you still know if you're going to be okay? Well, the short answer here is you have to run a financial plan. This is a great time to suck it up, (laughs) look at everything you have, look at what you need to spend, and then you can start to really address, do you have the appropriate strategy in place? Because one thing I'd want to know, Bob, right now is, how much income do my investments actually produce? Because as we know, even though the market's down right now, the income's still coming in. You know, right, it doesn't matter if you're 60, 50, or 40, or 70. You know, everybody has the same question. Am I taking too much risk or am I, you know, or do I have too much risk in my portfolio? Am I taking enough risk? So the, the comfort that, you know, any type of wealth projection, any type of written financial plan gives you is because you can see the future. You can see how much income's going to come in, whether it's coming from your social security, your pension, your income from your portfolios, and you can make adjustments. You know, it's the calm in the storm. I mean, it's a, it's a way to keep your head when everybody's losing theirs. And if you don't have a written plan right now, you get the wrong people working for you. Yeah, now is better than ever to reassess that. You know, we've talked about this before. I love the analogy of the fact that, look, you're in a boat, the tide has come down. Maybe your boat's got a lot of leaky holes in it and it's kind of sinking. Whereas there's a boat right next to you, you can jump on that's better built, you know, it's better protected. So when the tide goes up again, you're much better positioned than you are right now. So it's a great time to make those proactive moves. Look at your income plan. Look at where you are. Give it a hard, cold look. And then you can make those hard, cold decisions so that you can make sure you're in good shape inevitably when the tide rises again. The next most common uh, financial concern we've been hearing about is with the market down, is this the best time to take some of my money and roll it into a Roth IRA? Well, it's a really good point because if the values in your retirement accounts are low right now, it might make sense to bite the bullet, pay the taxes on the money and put it into a Roth IRA, Bob, where that money will be tax-free for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's the thing that happens in bear markets, right? The price of the investment goes down, but not your number of shares. So when price comes back, you know your value goes up and the time to transfer money from your IRA to a Roth IRA is when those prices are low. Now's a great time to do it, but you know, make sure you're doing a prudent amount. Check with your CPA, check with your accountant, make sure you're not pushing yourself into a higher tax bracket. But I can't think of a better strategy to take advantage of adversity than converting to a Roth right now. Yeah. And what a great opportunity right now, not to just talk to your financial advisor, but your financial advisor in concert with your CPA, because there's a lot of things we've talked about this on the show recently, you can do from a tax perspective. You can look at doing some tax swaps, which we mentioned on the show last week. That's where you can go 
sell your investment at a loss, buy a like investment, but still you get that tax loss for tax purposes. And you have a lot of flexibility with those losses. You can use them against real estate gains later, stock portfolio gains later, but it's nice having that flexibility. And right now, to Bob's point, you might be in a lower tax bracket this year. It's a good time to look at anything you can do from a tax perspective that's going to help you down the line. Hey, Rod, you know what? We got to start thinking about taxes because with all of this financial and fiscal stimulus that we're getting from the government, somebody's got to pay for that. And my guess is in the future, taxes are going to be higher, not lower. So anything you can do to protect yourself from the U.S. government when it comes to taxes, now's the time to start thinking about that. Yep, Bob, money saved in taxes. We say it all the time, just as green as any money you can make invested. You know, Act on it now, take advantage of it. Doing things proactive right now are going to feel really good. Yeah, Rod, it's been amazing how many great questions we're getting, not just from our clients, but from our listeners. So keep them coming. And you know, if you're thinking to yourself right now, you know what? I don't even know if I have a written financial plan. Matter of fact, I looked, I can't find one. And if you're thinking to yourself, you need one, then here's your chance. All you have to do is be one of our next eight callers and have saved over 500000 for retirement. Because if you do, Ryan and I are going to create for you your own 360 financial portal. Now, this is a financial GPS, just like the GPS you have in your car. Only now, this is going to tell you where you are financially, tell you how much risk you're taking, and tell you where you're headed, and report daily, and tell you exactly where you are in your progress of your journey to financial independence. See, it will define your financial timeline and build the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid these financial potholes and dead ends of a typical cookie cutter asset allocated portfolio from some stockbroker. It'll update your net worth daily in real time and monitor your progress so you'll always know where you are, but most importantly, whether or not you're going to get there and how long it's going to take. In addition, we need you to take all those statements that are coming in. I know you don't want to open them right now, but you need to. You know, you got to rip off that band aid and take a look and see if you have a collection of investments or if you have a true diversified all weather portfolio. You know, you can send that to us through a secure email. We'll show you how to do it. And what we're going to do is take that information and break it down to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. Are you truly diversified? I mean, diversified for the volatile times that we're experiencing right now. Do you have costs that are hidden? You know, Rye talks about hidden costs every week. You know why? He's got x-ray vision. That actually has tools that allow him to see where all these, these fees, these hidden costs, where they are. And he tells you how to get rid of them. So not only does it reduce the cost in your portfolio, but it'll help you to increase return over time. And income, boy, we talk about it ad nauseum, but income is something you need to fill that gap once you retire because that paycheck's not coming in any longer. And all of you that are retired, we all have one goal in retirement. That's to stay retired. And that depends on income, repeatable, dependable, inflation protected income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we'll answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for over 40 years. Can you believe it? For over four decades, we've been helping families just like yours to get from your financial point A to your goals, to your point B, to your dreams with your values, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a professional can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot to get that second opinion we're doing everything over video conference, teleconference at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, you're one of the next eight callers at 844-752-6692. It's 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. 844-PLANNYC. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain, financial radio. And Bob and I, as you know, are simple men. So we want to keep it simple for you, give you common sense, practical advice you can use for your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest survival guide to survive this bear market and not only survive, but to thrive. We give you three action steps you can take, give you a couple tax ideas that you can utilize right now while the markets are volatile. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 
888. That's the word bullish, the 555, 888. We give you the, our bear market survival guide. We give you three action steps you can take right now, give you a couple tax ideas you can utilize while the markets are down, make some good decisions about your portfolio. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show as a podcast. It goes up e weekly. You can have it come right to your email address. And you can learn more about our firm, Pain Capital Management. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but you need to check it out for yourself. Just go to bebullish.com, bebullish.com, and you can get all the information about Pain Capital Management. And you can catch myself, other advisors at Pain Capital Management on all the major networks every single week, everything from Fox Business News, CNBC, Yahoo Finance, with our latest thoughts on the economy and the markets. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can email us directly. Go to questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. Bob and I answer all your questions directly. And man, we have gotten a lot of questions. So we filtered through. We picked out some of the best for you today. And to help us with questions this morning, we have our man in the studio, Mr. Dan Irving. Dan, what's shaking today, my man? Hello, Ryan and Bob. Doing well. You know, I would have loved if this whole coronavirus was an April Fool's joke, but April 1st is come and gone, and we're still social distancing. <laughs> yeah, we're still we're still certainly sitting at home, waiting and waiting, and uh, hopefully the weather will get a little nicer, though. That's one thing to look forward to, right? Yes, exactly. Hopefully. Well, yeah, we got some great questions. We got a lot of them. And our first question is from Nick in Bay Ridge, and Nick says, Bob, when the 2008 downturn hit, my previous advisor said, don't worry, it's only a hiccup. Well, that hiccup took 40% of my investment. Now, this seems worse. What say you? Well, Nick, first of all, it's not worse. You know, the market's not down 40%. And if you lost 40% in 2008, that means you weren't diversified. You had 100% of your money in the stock market. And the only way to take a temporary loss, which it turned out that's what it was, and turn into a permanent loss was to sell. So you had the wrong advisor on so many levels, Nick. I don't even know where to start, right? Man, Bob, you're, uh, you're a tough critic. But yeah, and again, this goes back to what we've talked about really all show today, is it's so important to have that bond allocation, You know, just have that high quality portfolio of bonds. I can't tell you in the last year of all the people that came into our offices and didn't end up working with us that maybe heard our offer, they didn't want to own bonds. You know, I heard so many times, well, I'm just not a bond person, right? That's not my thing. I don't invest in bonds. But I think this is a perfect example because the irony is you can actually let, take less risk in your portfolio and get better returns over time. Because it's not really about owning bonds because they're going to grow. It's about the fact that the market's down right now. You have something in your portfolio that's protected you. But again, you can actually take some profits on those bonds and you can add into the market when it's low. You can't do that if all your money's in the market. Your hands are tied. That's so true, right? And maybe in, in Nick's case, it wasn't all his fault. I mean, I have a client that's been with me for the last 10 years. Unfortunately, it came after, you know, the 2009 bottom. And his advisor, you know, who was a registered financial advisor with a big wirehouse, simply told his clients, I don't believe in bonds. And even though this gentleman was 70 years old, he was 100% in stocks and lost a couple of million dollars in that decline because he did panic because they're afraid of running out of money. So, you know, you got to be wary of an advisor who's prejudiced against certain investments. I mean, if they're only if they invest based on their beliefs, they're not going to be able to help you with achieving your goals. Thank you, Nick, for writing in. And our next question is from Joel. Joel says, Hi, Ryan. I listen to your radio show on WABC. You and your father regularly talk about income investing and the importance of dividends as an income source when the market declines. As I understand it, there's no real difference in the end between spending dividends and selling shares, whether in a bull or a bear market. Am I wrong? Well, first off, Joe, I'm glad you're listening. Dividends are such an important part of your investment strategy. I can't stress it enough. Now, the question here is, should you sell shares as, along with taking your dividends? I would say do not sell your shares. That's the point, is those shares produce those dividends which pay you and again, this is why diversification is key. In a down market, you want to collect your dividends, but you don't want to sell shares that are down. You want to protect those at all costs. Going back again, this is why you want to have a big, high-quality portfolio of bonds. Yeah, Ryan, if you sell the income generator instead of just taking the dividends, you're not going to have future dividends. 
And, you know, dividends typically in any year are increased. Now, there'll be some cuts this year, like Ford cut their dividend the other day. But in general, good quality companies with good balance sheets are going to keep increasing their dividends just like they have, you know, for the last 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years, right? We have the dividend aristocrats. Yes. And then, in other words, Bob, what you're saying here is don't kill the golden goose. The golden goose are those shares, <laughs> the right. companies that you're owning. So I think that's really, really important here. You know, do anything but sell those shares. And that's the other thing, too. If you're retired and you have that bond portfolio, not only can you take the income on your portfolio, but you know, it could be a couple of years you could draw from your bonds and let those equities recover if you are diversified here, which forces you never to be in a position to have to sell stocks when they're at lower prices. Never, never want to sell stocks from at lower prices. It makes no sense. Well, there are a lot of people who you know disparage the whole idea of diversification because they don't like bonds because they're boring. I don't think anybody thinks that now, but they think, well, I'll just be 100% in the stock market. And when I need money, I'll sell shares off. But it's really scary to sell shares off when they're lower. And you know, there's nothing to prevent you from panicking out. And you know, what I always say is that you know, you want to have an income generated portfolio so you can buy lunch. You know, you don't want to buy lunch with relative performance. You can't buy lunch with relative <laughs> performance. And that's what you know, people fall into that trap when you're in a big booming bull market like we were for eleven years. Yeah. So I think the moral of the story here is just you gotta diversify the daylights out of your portfolio. And the only way to do that is to do an analysis and see where you are now and see how you can properly diversify. And in my mind, Bob, with things and disarray right now, no better time to actually reevaluate and see where you are. So let me ask you a question, Ryan. And in terms of being financially organized, on a scale of one to 10, how would you rank Nick and Joel? I think both uh, Nick and Joel need some help. I give them a three and a half a piece, and I'm only being benevolent because they're probably quarantined right now. Uh, I, think, I, think you, I think this quarantine might be getting to you. That was a very nice score. But you know, let me ask all of you a question. On a scale of one to 10, in terms of being financially organized, what would Ryan give you right now? You know, better yet, let's think about your spouse. Your spouse knows you better than Ryan does. What would your spouse give you? Would you be a 10? And if you're not, why wouldn't you want to be? Well, here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next three callers, you've saved over 500000 for retirement. My son, Ryan, and I will create for you your own ability to be financially organized with the ultimate tool, our 360 financial portal. Now, this is a financial GPS. Think about the GPS that's in your car right now. This will tell you where you are financially as opposed to where you are on the road, but it will map out where you're going and report daily on your progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It'll put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends of a typical cookie cutter financial plan that don't accommodate you when you're in volatile times like we are today. And lastly, it'll update your net worth in real time daily so you can drop in to see where you are. But more importantly, it'll monitor your progress. But paramount to that, you'll know exactly where you're going and when you're going to get there. You know, in addition, we want you to take all those statements that are coming in right now, stick them in an envelope, stick them in a folder. You know, you can even send them to us electronically in a secure email. We'll send you the information. We're going to take that information and break it down to see if you have a collection of investments if you have the right investments to help you through these volatile you know, markets that we're experiencing right now. We want to see if you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. Are you diversified? Yeah, we talk about diversification ad nauseum. What better time to find out if you're in the right diversified strategy than right now? Let's look at your cost. A lot of these costs are hidden. Yeah, they're buried in the prospectus. They're buried in the, you know, the insurance annuity contract. Well, we're able to break down those costs. I mean, they're not hidden. We have the tools that'll show you every penny that you're paying in expense that takes away from your return. It takes away from your ability to retire. Let's eliminate those costs. Let's put that money in your pocket where it belongs. And we're going to look at income. You know, we all want to retire someday. And when we do, we need to fill that income gap, right? That paycheck doesn't come in any longer. We need that repeatable, dependable income stream. But you know, when we most need it is when we're retired and your goal, your number one goal in retirement is to keep it that way. And you want to have a portfolio that generates the income that you need to overcome inflation, overcome taxation, to help you sleep at night. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. Where we're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to 45 years. Can you believe it? 
For over four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your goals, to your dreams, to your point B with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We're doing everything through teleconference, video conference, a great time just to reevaluate where you are at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next three callers, you have over $500,000 safe for retirement, We'll run our total financial master plan at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. And Bob and I, we're going to give you the most common sense, practical advice for your planning and investing. That's why we put together our new survival guide for this bear market, how to thrive, not only survive the bear market, we give you three action steps you can take right now, a couple of tax ideas that you can do proactively. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. We give you our bear market survival guide, give you three action steps that you can deploy while you're sitting at home, trying to figure out what to do, and we give you a couple of tax tips as well. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on our show. My colleague, Bob's colleague, financial advisor at Pain Capital Management, Frankie Lagrateria. And it's a dream of most listeners to be a <laughs> friend, a financial friend. Frank, great to have you on the show. How's uh, life and self-quarantining going? Life in self-quarantine is going. I think I'm thriving. I think I'm doing an excellent <laughs> job. I have more of a routine now than uh, than ever before. <laughs> I, I know a lot of our listeners want to know how's Hank the dog doing. Is he, uh, you know, he can't come to the office every day. So I feel like it's <laughs> going to be hard on Hank because he gets spoiled by everyone in the office. Yeah, Hank is the only dog in quarantine that's like not happy. <laughs> he, misses, <laughs> he misses all of his friends so much. It's really sweet. He heard uh, Courtney's voice the other day and started crying. This is our spotlight segment. Each week, what we do is we dissect a real financial plan. We uncover what we call the flaws or pain points. That's P-A-Y-N-E. So our listeners can avoid the same mistakes with their own planning and investing. And we've been doing a lot of reviews because people are quarantined right now. So they do want to go with their portfolio. So we've been doing a lot of them through Zoom. We have a security email so that people can just email their statements in. We can build a portal and help people assess where their goals are. I know you worked on a case recently. Why don't you break it down for us and tell us what you did uh, to help, in this case, get this couple on their path to financial freedom? Yeah, so the couple that I met with, brand new retirement, was super stoked about it in January, of course. Now they're a little nervous, but luckily they got put in the right place uh, beforehand because that could have been a pretty different situation, right? Retired in January, they had a lot of cash on hand, and the money they did have invested was heavily invested in the large cap U.S. Because that's the other thing we've seen right now is lack of bond exposure. But the other thing is having all your money concentrated in the stock market in one place mm -hmm. and anything that's been a big blue chip U.S. company, which has done really well. Right. So we see a lot of times it's a concentration in one area of the stock market. Absolutely. And to your point, you know, even though we're quarantined, Easter is around the corner. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket. Clever, Frank. Clever. Very That's clever. why we have you on the show. <laughs> so Frankie said that they were to, you know, obviously their, their change of life was coming because they re they retired in January, which I think we find a lot is that when we're all out there working as hard as we work, and you know, one day you you, you don't even think about your portfolio. They woke up and said, "Hey, we got to live off of this portfolio." So, what type of shape were they in January, and and you know, where were they versus where you have them today? So, firstly, they've done an excellent job saving. Uh, an excellent job of wealth accumulation, and they were ready for retirement. However, just as you have to transition into retirement, your portfolio does too, because out of nowhere, you can be quarantined and the market can go crazy. And it's all because of something that no one expected, right? As right. Bob says, the only thing expected is the unexpected. So the big thing that we did for them was get them bonds 
uh, and individual bonds, of course. And I think we uh, we definitely harp on bond funds a lot here. And I think it's important, especially in this time. And the other thing was got them diversified, right? They need some income and they're not getting it from 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 bonds. They're not getting it from the cash flow or from uh, just cash that they had sitting in the bank. They need it from their equities and they need it from a diversified portfolio. Yeah, so that brings up two good points. So first off, how much money do they have in the stock market in January when they met with you? They had over 50% in the market and you know they're both well into their 60s they're both retired and they, they just don't need that risk anymore so we really you know uh, took that down a few notches well let me ask you this frank they had over 50 i think it was like 65 percent if i'm looking at the spreadsheet here in the market were you able to predict ahead of time that in january that there was going to be a huge pandemic that was going to shut the economy and the market down. I'm just curious. I think a week before all of this happened, I was like, no, nah, it's going to blow over tomorrow. But <laughs> well, you were able to take this couple's money out of the stock market and bring it down with no foresight into the future. And I think the key here is that's why I like having a strategy because it's not because we can predict the future. You are just following your discipline, knowing that this couple is going to retire and that forced you to make decisions about their portfolio. Isn't it so much easier to make decisions about a portfolio when it's based on, a, on your goals and it's based on a strategy as opposed to our ability to see the future? Because last time I looked, we're really bad at predicting the future, all of us. Um, yes, yeah, so I think it's really important to remember that. And I think it's really important to take the emotions out of it. You know, We talk to all of our clients about that. And I think Right here, right now, in this you know bubble of quarantine is why I have a career, why we all have careers in this field, is because we're able to take the emotions out of it and really stick to that strategy. Yeah, you know, I think that's what happens. I mean, with um, almost 99% of the cases that we sit and review almost daily at the uh, Payne Capital Management, we find that most of you are taking way more risk than necessary to achieve your goals, and you don't realize it. I mean, you know, how could you realize if your if your portfolio is going up every year, everybody's sitting there and say, hey, what you know, what why why something so good be so bad? And until something like this happens, we find out. So it's just about really putting together a plan that's based on your goals, not based on your feelings. And you know, thank goodness, Frankie, these people were able to come and see you at the right time, especially since they were getting ready to retire. I mean, nobody wants to go back to work after working for 40, 50 years. But no, no, not not that I knew how to predict the markets by any means, but thank goodness we were able to uh, kind of get them in that strategy, just knowing that if it's not, you know, a, a global pandemic, right? It's something. <laughs> yeah, there's always some headwind. Yeah. Well, as Bob likes to say, Frank, another financial masterpiece. Thanks for being on the show from your self-quarantined quarters there in New Jersey. And if you're thinking to yourself right now, this is what I need. I need a review like this. I need to build a strategy that's based on my goals, not based on our ability to predict the future. It's really hard to do that. Here's your shot to do it. Maybe while you're sitting in quarantine, we have two slots left. If you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, myself, Bob, Frankie Lagrateria, everybody wants to be one of Frankie's financial friends. We'll run for you our total financial master plan. And we're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we'll look at everything. So instead of playing Parcheesi, you can send your statements to us through a secure email. and We'll build for you your own personalized financial portal so we can get a view of your total financial picture. And now during this time, you can really reassess where you are and what you need to be doing. We're going to look at all those critical components. We're going to look at diversification. Uh, this couple had way too much money in the market. And we only knew that is because we tallied up all the assets and we looked at what their goals were. You know, what risks do you have in your portfolio are you going to be prepared for the next downturn? We're going to show you how to bulletproof or protect your portfolio for retirement. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. Do you have an income plan? How are you going to draw from your portfolio? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio, build an income plan for life. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your investment portfolios. You probably don't know you're paying in those annuities, mutual funds. This is a great time to reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes, especially now with all this market volatility. And we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've literally worked on for over 45 years and determined that very critical question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Hey, let us give you some certainty in these uncertain times. We only have two spots left. You know, Don't lose out. If you were one of the next two callers, you saved over 500,000 for retirement. Rye, Frankie, and I will create for you your own 
total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation, there's no cost, but there's no plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. All you have to do is call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Well, another great show, Frank. You know, I really miss Hank, but I miss you too. <laughs> I really miss Hank. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <it's> gonna... <laughs> he misses you too. <laughs> well, great job, Frank. Um, you know, great job in quarantine. I know you've been talking to your clients uh, endlessly every day, doing a great job for us, and we really appreciate it. You know, we've had, we have a great team, and we're really lucky to have you. So, thank you. Glad to be working. Glad to be a part of the team. And have a great weekend. And as always, everyone, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan in these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.